Do you want to know why transparency and honesty is so important on your twin flame journey? So I'm going to tell you why in this video and kind of talk about what is what does it mean to be transparent and honest and what does it not mean? So um, the reason why I came up with this topic is because I was watching a show called Sandman on Netflix. And if you've seen the show, it's a, it's a pretty cool show. It's based off of Neil Gaiman's books. Um, com a graphic novel actually and there was one episode um, where there was a man who was not very healed in his consciousness and he got a hold of a ruby that that granted you all your dreams coming true and his dreams weren't very great <laughs> like his dreams are kind of evil so anyway um, they're corrupt I would say I wouldn't say evil but very corrupt like didn't understand how to love people so anyway but um his dream was to save the world by um, helping people become honest, like truly honest. And at the core, like that sounds like a great thing, right? Like it sounds like, oh good, finally people are honest with how they really feel, but um, there was something missing from his idea. And I'm going to give you the, I'm going to tell you what happened. So spoiler alert, fast forward 30 seconds if you don't want to hear this. So what happened was um, everybody started becoming honest with each other in this cafe and because they were being honest with each other a lot of people's core wounds were being pushed up and so they all freaked out and they they felt their feelings finally and expressed them and you know felt all their fears and angers and frustrations and then didn't know what to do with those feelings and so they ended up like having a massacre in the cafe yeah it's like it's it's that kind of show so anyway I was like oh man because the first half of the show was spot on for kind of the work that I do with my clients and helping you to see yourself and understand like your inner workings, like why do you, why are you doing what you're doing? Um, why is your twin flame reflecting this stuff to you? Like what is it that you can't see about yourself? I mean, gosh, that's all we really want as human beings is we want the truth, right? Like we're truth seekers, seekers, we're designed to want to understand ourselves and others and so when your twin flame who is your divine mirror starts to reflect you they're going to reflect all the parts the positive and the, the places that need healing so for a lot of you especially those of you who clicked on this video you're experiencing twin flame mirroring and it's not fun like unless you've got the tools right i'm going to tell you about those um but so being honest with yourself and like coming Coming to a place of honesty is really essential. It's actually one of the eight keys. Being honest is one of the eight keys of the foundation of your harmonious and flame union. So honesty and transparency, very, very, very similar. Um, they almost mean the same thing, but like transparency is a little bit different. And being honest is like, you can also, honesty is like a behavior too. Like, being honest is like, you know, not stealing from a grocery store or whatever. That's honest behavior. It can also be in words, but transparency is more like you revealing something, right? To yourself or to others. Starting always with yourself. Being transparent is a form of honesty. So, um, when your twin flame reflects something to you, for example, like, if your twin flame makes you feel a certain way like you're you're feeling not good enough you've got this you know thing that your twin flame does like ignoring you or you know choosing someone else or whatever it is you, you start in your feelings and you're like i just don't feel good enough for them right now you're being transparent and honest with yourself about how you feel right um you are like starting the mirror exercise so i don't know what's going on with my hair I can see my hair it's being funny anyway please don't be distracted by that like I am anyway um you start the mirror exercise so I'm upset because my twin flame I'm not good enough for my twin flame that's just step one step two you change all the nouns to pronouns and point them at you I am upset because I'm not good enough for myself that's step two Step three you ask yourself is this true on any level and this is where the self-honesty in this Transparency kind of comes into play. You, the answer is always going to be yes, especially because if your twin flame is 
revealing this feeling to you, it is 100% within you, right? Like, it's not their fault. Yeah, sure, like, they're doing the action on the outside and no one's saying that that is loving behavior, but you can heal it. Like, this is your feeling to heal. So you say, yes, this is, I see this place where I'm not good enough for myself. I don't love myself all the way. And you just become really honest with yourself. Like, you, you prefer other people's attention to your own, stuff like that, right? That is, that's like you needing to be brutally honest <laughs> with yourself. Not brutally, but transparent. Step four, and this is what they didn't do in the Sandman show, is like they didn't know what to do once they found this place, once they were honest. They didn't know what to do. And so step four, I tell you guys, is the like life-changing step. This is why I um, stuck with the program. It's like I did not find um, a succinct place in all of the spiritual practices that I've ever tried that had something quite like as clear as step four. And that is you ask the part of you that is feeling bad, causing the problem, what it needs to feel loved, and then you give that to yourself. And you use your imagination to do that. So some people think that transparency is like showing all and like wearing your heart on your sleeve. And that is a form of transparency, but um, you also can keep a sense of dignity about yourself, um, not necessarily um, blasting your inner workings to everybody. We have a visitor, by the way. Hang on, let me show you. Well, hello. <laughs> what, what's up? Are you a nice, nice swan? What's going on? All right, well, a little too close. We're gonna we're gonna head this way. This is a, a twin flame sign, by the way. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. <laughs> I heard that swans can like attack. So, aren't you pretty though? That was a little interlude. <laughs> so, transparency really is about you know between you and God, between you and yourself. And then you ask God, like, if you want to share to someone else how you're really feeling or what's going on inside, you want to know why. Like, what's your intention behind sharing? Like, are you sharing to love someone else or are you sharing just to get stuff from other people? Because some people think that venting or complaining is a form of transparency. And to be honest, like, yeah, it is. But um, you got you to gotta know that you are your own source of love. Like no one else is your source of love or attention or approval, right? So if you're trying to be transparent and share to get attention or love or approval, like that's not, that's not the purpose of transparency. However, if you are being vulnerable and authentic and just in sharing your story for someone, um, or you're just simply like being honest about like, okay, I, I am reaching out for help here. And you're telling someone, I'm sharing because I don't know what to do. I need help. Could you help me? That's actually really um, mature and honest and an example of how to use transparency. With your twin flame. Like, I'll just tell you an example of my story. Full transparency. Um, so I started being more honest with myself about my spending. And realizing like, oh, you know. I have a, an issue where um, I spend more than I earn. Even if I earn a lot of money, I'll spend like slightly more than I earn, no matter how much I'm earning. It's really funny. Like, I could earn a million dollars and I'd spend a million and one, right? So I had to like get really clear with myself on this pattern and like just be really honest with myself and let go of all the judgment, right? When I started being honest with myself, Guess who started being honest with me? My twin flame, Josh. He started like sharing a lot <laughs> about himself. And it was so refreshing. I was like, oh, you really are self-aware. Of course he is, he's me. But, but it, because I had gone to a new level in my own um, consciousness, so did he. So your twin, like being self-honest and, and honest with yourself is, really helpful on your twin flame journey. So how, how did I do that? Did I just like snap my fingers and like suddenly I felt 
so free to be honest with myself? No. The inner work that I'm talking about, Jeff and Shalia's work, mirror exercise, working with my own coach helps. So I know how to help you with what you're working through so that you can actually visit these places inside of you without going bonkers like the people in the cafe on the show, right? You need to visit these places and bring love there. Let me help you do that because there's a way you're going to feel so relieved. Um, so if you want to try, you can book me at twinflamesheartsdesire.com or if you can't, you don't have a pen, you can look in the description box under this video. There's the bell. Time to go. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe.